Welcome to this video and welcome to my lovely big comfy bed. But today I decided to do something very very different. I have this tendency to do online shopping right before I go to bed because I've got nothing else to do. I'm bored. I start like scrolling through websites and I just essentially I essentially want to order everything that I see online. I thought it would be really fun if I just sat here with you guys and kind of like recorded my screen and took you through my shopping process. Because I'm actually in the market for some fall booties, so that's like what my goal of this shopping trip is. I actually have an intention. It's not just like aimlessly shopping, which I do do quite often, so I'll record that for you guys too if you want to see it. But I just thought be chill, like come sit here with you guys in my bed, set up my camera. This is like not a fresh face of makeup. I have some lovely tea it's freaking steeping hot steeping hot that's not a saying let's get cozy let's do some online shopping because like who doesn't online shop before bed i mean come on you gotta be lying to yourself if you say that you don't online shop before you go to bed sometimes at least so i got my laptop here and yes the goal of tonight's shopping trip is to look for some boots and i just thought this was a fun idea because i've never seen anyone do this and sometimes it's fun to like browse together and like look at the things that we wish we could buy it's kind of like window shopping but online you know what I mean so that's what we're gonna do tonight there's just like we're just gonna shop and we're just gonna look at boots and booties and probably make some purchases and one more thing before we get started I will love you guys forever if you go and follow me on Instagram it's Sarah Dunk I'm gonna have it linked over here and I will be going on a liking spree for all of you that follow me so go follow me it's a good time anyways yeah we're just gonna take this friggin flannel off and dive right into this online shopping adventure. Shopping for shoes online can definitely be a bit tricky. I know I was definitely hesitant to purchase shoes online for the first time because I'm always between like an eight and an eight and a half. So I didn't know like which size to go with and then it takes such a long time to ship them back and like get the right size. So, you know, you can't really like adjust shoes to fit you if they don't. Not like it's, it's not like it's a dress or a shirt or a pair of pants where you can get them taken in. So now I've kind of gotten used to some certain sites and I like to go on H&M and Zara because as I've said a million times, they're in like so many big malls. So if you don't know exactly how something's going to fit you, you can always like go return them in the store. And if they don't have your size in the store, you can order them online. That's the beauty of this whole online shopping thing. So I have my windows already open because my computer my internet, what is going on here? My internet has been slow as lately, so it's just really not a fun situation, so hopefully we can get through this video. So I thought I would share with you guys some websites that I like to go on first for inspiration. So I love going on Nordstrom because their, sh their shoe section is just heavenly. It's like, they have so many pairs of shoes. Do you see this, guys? 12,404 items. Are you seeing that? Like, that is crazy. So they definitely have some great inspiration on here. I already see these Sam Edelman boots. Those are hot fire and definitely a little bit out of my price range with the 254 right there. So it is a great, oh, those are cute too. This is going to be really distracting, guys. <laughs> it is a great spot to find some inspiration and you can really like filter through all the styles as well. So we can go category, we could do booties because I feel like I've cut myself off a million times, but I want to find a nice pair of black booties and a nice pair of over the knee boots, but not for super expensive because I I like wear down my boots so much, especially because especially because I live here in Canada and weather just really gets to them. So I don't want to spend an arm and a leg, but it's definitely fun to look on Nordstrom and get some good inspo. And yeah, as I just showed you guys, there's many like filters that you can sift through so you can get a more direct search. I really want a pair of white booties too, but those are like not the not the priority for the shopping trip I'll only get some if I see like a perfect pair and they're a really good price but these ones are kind of cute I'm I'm like more so into the pointy toe right now at the moment and I don't even know if I want the leather booty I tried actually oh coincidental I tried these Jeffrey Campbell booties on in the store because I saw them on the website before I went in like a couple weeks ago and I really, really am into this whole like pointed toe, sock booty, like thicker heel style. But for some reason, they only had this shade in the store and the camo shade. And I tried on the camo just for like sizing reference and the lady was trying to sell me on the camo and I was like, mm, 
not a priority once again if you're going to buy a black booty like buy the black booty because you obviously need the black booty and just nothing can really replace a black booty so I don't really know why they weren't selling the black one in stores I called a bunch of locations they just didn't have them but they do have them online but I wanted to find a dupe because they're still 159 before tax which will probably come out to like 170 180 ish which is kind of expensive for a booty that I don't even know if they're gonna be super comfortable because they are a pointed toe and they're a little bit healed so you guys get it that's my that's my inspiration site my main my main inspo lots of it comes from Nordstrom because you have like the high-end designer brands the mid designer brands and then like their house brands as well so it's a really good variety and I've personally never ordered off of Nordstrom but I'm I've heard amazing but I've heard amazing things next site that we're gonna go over to is Topshop and here in Canada, Topshop is in the Bay. I've actually gotten a lot of amazing shoes from the Topshop at the Bay. I, they always have amazing sales too, and I just done pretty well in their shoe department. Those red booties in my Instagram lately, those were those were Topshop. But as you guys can see here, they just have like a ton, a ton of cool, trendy, like different, unique styles of shoes. Like honestly, where else are you gonna see these glittery things? A lot of them are like designer. A lot of them are like designer inspo. I feel like these are kind of like Dior knockoffs. I don't even know what the heck these fluffy cloud sheep booty sock things are. But there are a ton of shoes on Topshop. This is like the American UK website. So I've never ordered off here because you can't return these to the Canadian in store to the Canadian stores. So that kind of like tears me, that kind of like turns me away from ordering online off of like topshop.com and the bay.com slash topshop doesn't have as good of a selection so I generally just go in store but once again it's a great place to find some inspiration for really cool boots that are in store and then I always like if I see a part if I see a pair on here that I really want then I'll just like take the reference number and bring it into the store or call them I really also like these white booties those are really really cool told you guys Oh my gosh, love those. I've been so into white lately. I don't know what it is. Oh, those look like the YSL ones, kind of. These could be a dupe. But yeah, this, like, once again, they have so many different pairs. So this could go on forever and ever, but I know I'm not going to order off here, so I'm just going to kind of, like, wrap this Top Shop segment up, but they do have a lot of really nice pairs. I'm also very into this yellow thing, but completely unnecessary right now. So another good site that I want to mention to you guys is Public Desire. Oh my gosh, these are new. Why do I do this to myself? I really like getting like super trendy boots on Public Desire, ones that I know I'm not going to have to wear all the time. So if I were looking for something like this ankle boot and red faux snake, like I would get them here versus anywhere else because they're not that bad of a price and you know, I'm definitely not going to be rocking these every single day of my life. But yeah, really cool styles. I love these snake print ones. So with all that being said, just kind of spilt the tea there on the booties so I'm gonna go over to H&M and I'm gonna see what they have I've never actually ordered shoes off of H&M I've bought a ton of shoes online I'm sorry I bought a ton of shoes in stores at H&M like over the summer and stuff they had so many nice sandals and like heels super comfortable they're amazing quality so if I see some on here I would not be opposed to ordering them but honestly, I checked the other day and I didn't really see, like, this boot to me for 70 bucks, like, looks kind of cheap. The finish of it and the heel, I'm just, just not about that. Like, there were no cute booty, there were no cute booty styles that really stood out to me. Like, all of them just kind of look cheapish for the price. Like, not into this. Just not the style that I'm going for, which is kind of disappointing and surprising because usually they're pretty on point with their shoes. So, H&M gotta figure it out my friend because I was relying on you for the boots for the fall boots I was relying on you to come through here H&M what are you doing all right so we're gonna go over to Zara which is probably where I'm gonna spend all my money because Zara loves to take my money from me because they're they're just very good at doing that so I've already got some shoes in my cart but we're gonna see what is new what is popping I do want a pair of over the knee but these ones are a little bit too flat I kind of want to go for a pair that's a little bit of a heel but like a very walkable heel so yes these ones right here $89.90 really really affordable that's Canadian price guys so keep that in mind but I like the height of this heel it's 1.9 inches so very very easy to walk in but it's still gonna give you like a little bit of height so you can definitely wear these out or you can wear them during the day which is amazing because 
the last pair of over the knee boots that I had were just like too flat and too casual looking and they ended up like making my legs look kind of stumpy so I'm gonna go ahead and add these guys to my cart they have my size and I feel like they make these shoes every single season so even if you miss out on them just stick around be patient because they'll probably come back in stock that's great my computer's about to die cool all right we're gonna keep shopping so this booty right here is really really cute but it's more of like a fancy going out booty like I couldn't just like throw those on slip them on and walk out the door to the grocery store or something like that because that heel would probably kill me so I'm gonna keep browsing I think I saw a pair the other day that I'm gonna come back to these are also a good alternative I looked at these guys but something about the block heel and like the toe on this one just doesn't look as cute as the other ones that I put in my cart so that's the thought process behind that just in case any of you were wondering but yeah they have a ton of other really good styles for affordable prices too so I kind of feel like this is the female equivalent to all the online YouTube gaming channels that are out there right now not that females can't game but I'm just saying this is kind of like the equivalent and fun level for me personally if you guys agree let me know but yes yeah, so we're gonna keep looking computer's like freaking out getting really hot on me I don't like these ones because I don't like that gold heel that's too much of a kitten pointy heel come on I should probably just filter to boots but I'm too lazy right now so we're just gonna scroll through the whole page because why not why not take crazy jeans those are interesting but also just look kind of uncomfortable still scrolling here folks these are really cute but not what I'm looking for I did try these ones on in store actually because a friend of mine had them and they looked really really good on her but for me for some reason but on me for some reason the fabric was just like not tight enough and I have kind of like thicker legs <laughs> so this material is just kind of like sagging down and just not a cute look so they can work on some people but they did not work on my legs but a really good price for like a sock booty type of thing I actually have these ones they are my latest video I'm in love with them they're a really nice like dressier looking heel booty thing if you're in the market where were those ones if those ones that I saw and liked are sold out it's not gonna be a pretty ending to this video guys these look cool but I don't know why Zara does this like why is there like half a picture of the shoe oh there it is there's the rest of it it's kind of like those ones that I just mentioned but like an actual heel all right, we're still going, we're still going. A friend of mine has these two, they're really cool looking, but too fancy for this occasion. Looking for an everyday booty here, guys. Something that I can run around town in. Still going, still going. Those are really cool too. These are cool, but I don't know about that heel. Okay, I'm getting so sidetracked. Were these the ones? These might've been the ones, so I'm gonna like open them in a new window. I'm so dumb if I didn't put the ones that I saw in my cart because they're probably gonna be like gone or just disappeared into this hole of whatever. I also actually really like these ones. So I'm gonna like just ponder, ponder on these. I saw them in stores, but they didn't have my size. So that was a little bit of an issue. Would have bought them right there and then, but you know Zara with their sizing doesn't always work in your favor, so. How did I get to the end so quickly? All right, let's go to my bag and see if I added those shoes. Or it's just gonna be like a million other things. Yep. Just what I suspected, they are not in there. Let's see if these are the ones that I was looking at. I think these are, yes, because this was the picture originally that they had. So these kind of remind me of those Jeffrey Campbell ones in like similar terms, like similar texture and pointed toe. They look a little bit shorter they look like they have a little bit shorter of a heel which I don't actually mind because I want these as like an everyday thing and the booty heel looks kind of weird now that I'm seeing them from like a side angle that looks kind of bizarre but that looks painful she looks like she's in pain look at that face right there it doesn't look comfortable but then here they look cute so I'm just like very distraught right now because I was all set all on board ready to order these guys but now I'm just having second thoughts and I'm very confused but the good thing with Zara is that you can order and you can return in store and you have like 30 days I believe to like get a full refund and everything so I might just do it I also really like this ring detail they might look different on so we're just we might risk it 
or we go for these ones, which are definitely an everyday type of booty. But these ones are definitely a little bit more casual. And I don't know if they're what I was going for, but we're gonna add them to my bag anyways. All right, let's go, to, let's go to see the shopping bag. Why are these metallic shorts still in here? Okay, they're gone. So I know for sure we're gonna be keeping these ones because $89 is such a good deal and I really like the height of the ink. I really like the height of the heel and everything kind of looks good to me from here. And I think my friends actually have a pair of these already and I know I like them. So now it comes down to these guys for $49 or these ones for $89. I'm just trying to think in like practice in practical terms like which ones would be a better everyday type of boot I feel like these leathery ones would be more comfortable but they also have that zipper detail going on which could be distracting if you're wearing like a certain type of outfit so well let me just pull them up side by side again Let's do a little comparison I'm liking the price of these because $49 you can't really go wrong but that heel looks so weird. And then these are like a little bit chunkier and a little bit edgier, which I don't know if I want. They will last me better into winter. Decisions, decisions. But I think I really want the pointed toe. I really don't know, guys. It's getting stressful. This is getting stressful. All right, I'm gonna make a decision and I will get back to you guys and let you know what the final, what the final call was. I'll see you soon. Just did like the best conclusion and wasn't even recording it, so that's good. A decision has been made guys. I do not know if it was a good decision or a bad one, but I got all three and my thought process behind that is, uh oh, there goes my hard drive. I'm just gonna return whichever ones don't work out. Might be one of them, might be all of them. Definitely not gonna keep all three, but one of them will be going back for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Let me know if you wanna see like an unboxing and like an aftermath type of video like my results and how things turned out and like how they compared to the pictures online because I'm really curious to see how those pointed toe ankle boobies are going to turn out like that heel is just concerning me but also I, I don't know it's very deceiving so let me know if you guys want to see that I think it could be kind of fun and I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you want me to shop for next online with you guys because this was kind of fun like talking out loud about what I'm going to do and I feel like it kind of helped me make more rational decisions if that made any sense but I'm sweating this computer's hot the light is hot my tea is hot <laughs> and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt so I think it's time for me to hit the hay hit the hay don't forget to subscribe if you liked it give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next one Ta -da.